All right, YouTube, I'm on Six Fog, and I'm back with another freaking exciting ass video. Uh, this vi I'm finally painting my freaking garage. Um, I hate painting, hate any, hate the word paint. Anything to do with painting, I hate. But anyways, so, um, the back here, you can never see it. So it's, you know, one of them out of, out of sight, out of mind things. Um, and then last year, some people bought this house here. There used to be trees here, big shed, this and that. So you could, you could never see the back of the garage. So it's just like one of them things that, you know, who gives a crap? Um, <clears throat> but now that you can see it, I got to paint the freaking thing. So I just got one of the Dima brushes and I'll tell you what, that thing works freaking awesome. Um, this right here represents if you were working, you know, straight through, this would be probably, I don't know, 45 minutes worth of work. Um, that Dima brush works awesome. The problem with this siding here is that stupid dump Dutch lap. So I'm using the Dima brush. I'm using my little multi-tool with the scraper blade on there and uh, my tried and true old ass uh, ran random orbital sander with 40 grit paper on there. Um, and you know, it's gonna, it's gonna get there. I'm probably get, probably get it to get used paint stripper in between here. Um, but whatever, you know, I got all summer to get it done. I'm not in a rush. Uh, I'll show you what I'm using here, but just to, uh, you know, the reason I don't side it or do anything like that is because where I live, it's a very depressed area. Uh, it's very tip of Western New York, in between Erie, PA, and Buffalo, Buffalo, New York. Um, and you can't get crap for how you, know, you you can't sell houses for hardly anything around here. Uh, I'll give give you an example. This house here, some people bought it last year, last February, came in guns a blazing, freaking tore everything up, had this helipad put in here. They paid one hundred ten thousand for the house tore up everything, took trees out, shed out, this, that. Um, $45,000 for this driveway. They had a complete tear off on the roof. Um, put rubber membrane, rubber membrane down on the whole thing, then shingled over, new gutters, new windows, even though the old windows were only about five years old. Fenced in the backyard, gutted the entire house. It's four bedroom, three bath. Um, so new walls, new floors, new bathrooms, blah, 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 kitchen, this and that. And now they just up and left, and now it's on the market for $169,000. So they're uh, taking it up the old uh, poop chute on that one. But so that's why around here you got to do stuff, put as little money into whatever. Because, I mean, my house is uh, 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 appraised at $65,000. So... I'm not going to freaking put siding on a garage and this and that. So, anyway, whatever. So, I'll show you here uh, what I'm using, and then I'll show you me using it. I'll be back in a minute. Okay. So, what I'm doing is I'm using the Dima brush right there on my uh, battery angle grinder. Uh works really good for me because I run it about 10 minutes and then I uh, have a beer and a smoke then I get the other battery put it on run another 10 minutes have a beer and a smoke and uh, pro tip with this though I did buy this uh, uh, thing from Harbor Freight you know hook a vacuum up and stuff but when you put that on there and then that on you can't see the tool and I hate not being able to see the tool so a little pro tip if you're running this thing it does get a little loud so um some people might want to wear hearing protection uh i've been married 35 years so i've my hearing has evolved where i can actually shut it off so that doesn't bother me and then you might if you can run a if you can wear a dust mask you might want to wear a dust mask it does get a little dusty without this on get a little dusty but I, I, I think my uh, my uh, nicotine-coated lungs and my uh, constant uh, 
washing out with beer. I don't think I'll get anything bad in my system. So, so I'm using that. Um, using my uh, old ass random orbital, random orbital sander. This thing's got the power of belt sander. 40 grit paper. This thing's awesome. This is 30 years old at least. I paid like 270 bucks for this one. I made in Switzerland. Nice. And I'm using my little multi-tool with a scraper blade to get it in the areas. Um, but like I said, I think I'm still going to use a paint stripper because that Dutch lap is a pain in the ass. So let me get fired up and we'll, uh, I'll show you how, it easy, how easy it is to use that tool. Okay, hopefully you can see me because I got my phone leaned up on a chair, this and that. Now, apparently this tool here, from what I read online, it's good for between 200 and 400 square feet. You can buy replacement teeth for it, but apparently the replacement teeth are like 200 bucks where you can buy the whole unit for $50. So that's why, like, you go on Amazon, they sell them in two packs. I didn't know why they sold them in two packs, but now I do. So, <coughs> if you just take your time and let the tool do the work, you don't got to put a lot of pressure on it, especially this paint, as you can see, because it's like just falling right off. Um... So it works pretty good. Let's, let's have at it. So there you can see how easy it does. I'm going around, trying to go around nails that I think are sticking out a little bit. I gotta go through and set these heads. Um, Cause it will take the freaking head of the nail right off. But I'm trying to get as much mileage out of these blades as I can. So let me get my uh, sander out here and we'll hit that and see if it, it cleans up. I'll be right back. But like I say, you know, I just do a little bit Take a break, have a beer, a little bit more. So there you go, man. Freaking easy peasy. Hopefully, hopefully it showed up on video. Otherwise, I'm gonna have to redo the freaking thing. But uh, I mean, if you spend a little more time, you can get that right out of there. But when I prime it, I mean, it's, it's all feathered in nice. So when it gets primed and painted, never see it. So 
But if I wanted to strip this right down to bare, bare wood and just do like freaking uh, boiled linseed oil or something like that on there, it would look cool as hell. But anyways, as you can see, it doesn't take long. Does a good job. Um, and like I say, you can use the, uh, the battery tools, you know, if you don't mind waiting. See, here's one I think that one hit, but this one here, that was like the first one. It like almost took that head right off, so. All right, well, that's it, man. Them freaking diamond brushes are pretty freaking awesome. That's it. So, yeah, bitches.